Hi, and welcome back to my videos on CSS. In this series of videos, we've been talking about how to apply CSS styling to uh, HTML data tables. And we're going to continue in this video by talking about how to apply a hover effect to a row. Now, in previous videos, we had applied background colors and borders and formatted different things. And in this video, I really wanted to show you a, a trick that um, when you see it, you're going to go, of course, but nobody ever does it. Now here you're going to see I placed a link on my page, and again this is the oldest trick in the book, a hover, and then I change something about that link when my mouse hovers over it, like the font color. And I'm going to go ahead and say change it to red, save it, and there I go. I've got my hover effect on my link that's turning it into red. And basically what this is saying is anytime you find an A tag, when the pseudo selector hover occurs, or when the event hover occurs, change it to this color. Now hover can be applied to other elements in HTML other than the A tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to say TR and then hover. So anytime my table row has the mouse hovering over it, what do I want to do? And I don't want to change the font color. I could change the font color, but I want to change the background color. Oops. And I'm going to change the background color just to a light gray. And I'll save it. And come over here to Live View. And now you're going to see I get that hover effect on the rows of my table. Kind of cool, huh? can't believe how many JavaScript items are out there to uh, do this exact effect when you can do it really simply in CSS. Now one problem that I have here is you're going to see that when I hover over my footer or when I hover over my table headings, it also changes the color of those two rows. Now that may be what you want, but if it's not and you want to restrict it just to the body of your table, all you need to do is tr slightly change your style. Remember, I placed the semantic elements T head, T body, and T foot into my source HTML code. And that not only helps search engines and people who use screen readers and other accessible technology, it also gives you another container to work with. And in this case, the container I want to work with is T body because I only want that hover effect to be on the rows that are in the body area. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a descendant selector. Exactly the same way I would use descendant selectors to format links um, in different navigation areas. So I'm going to go ahead and do T body and a space. So anytime I'm in the T body section and I find a TR, if my mouse is hovering over it, change it to this style. So I'll go ahead and save. And now when I hover over my footer, nothing happens, but when I hover over my body area, I get that effect. And when I hover over my he heading area, nothing. So that's a real simple great trick to enhance your tables just with literally with one line of code. I hope you find that useful.